This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Halsey. Here are the stories making headlines today. An investigation is underway after police say a suspect was killed by the victim he was trying to rob. It happened on Cole Street, right next to the Dome at America Center. Police say the victim was held up around 10 o'clock last night. That victim, though, was armed with a gun. Shots were then exchanged between the victim and suspect, and the robbery suspect was killed. A man is now charged in connection with the murder of his wife inside their Creekcore apartment. The Major Case Squad says 39-year-old Adrian Wilson shot and killed his wife Kimberly Saturday at the Waterford apartment complex just west of Olive and Interstate 270. Police say he initially made a false burglary report and told them that he'd arrived from out of town to find his wife dead. Now he is facing charges including second-degree murder. News 4 is learning of a decrease in coronavirus testing in Missouri. From June 26 through July 2nd, the state tested 65,000 people and 2,800 came back positive. The following week, the state tested 55,000 and 3,700 came back positive. So even though there were 10,000 fewer tests, there were still more positive cases. Today, the Blues will start phase three of the NHL's return to play plan. That means the full team will be on the ice today for the start of training camp at Centene Community Ice Center. We know multiple players, though, have tested positive for COVID-19 recently. The Blues are scheduled to play Colorado in their first game on August 2nd. Now Kent has a check of your forecast. And it's a good one. We are looking at sunny skies out there today, but the summer heat is going to be cranking up. You know, Saturday was the hottest day of the year so far, but then Sunday we were only 88. I say only 88. It's still kind of hot, but it's actually a little below normal and the humidity remained below normal. So a very pleasant day on Sunday. Today's not going to be too bad. The normal high is 89 and we're going to keep the humidity down a little bit as we reach a high of about 91. So maybe just a, a tick above normal, but really a nice summer day and not too humid. So that's good. East winds stay light today. We won't have much of a breeze. So we're looking ahead to tomorrow night at 10 o'clock and we see some thunderstorms kind of sneaking into the uh, northern part of the viewing area there. That's uh, Wednesday morning. And then during the day with the heating on Wednesday, we'll see probably a few thunderstorms bubble up, maybe a little bit more in the northern part of the viewing area. But any of these storms that do uh, form, not so much Tuesday uh, or Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, those should stay to our northwest. But during the day on Wednesday, those storms that do form, they have an outside chance, very limited uh, of severe weather, uh, level one on a scale of five. All right, so 91 today, or tomorrow, yeah, today. <laughs> With only moderate humidity, 94 with the humidity going up along with the temperatures and the rain chances by Tuesday night. Then Wednesday, some uh, storms possible in 94, and it's all about the heat after that and humidity combining in the mid to upper 90s for the actual temperatures. Heat index readings will be up over 100.